circuit means the connection of gates and the wires is called as the circuit in arithmetic and logic operations we have the circuits like adders subtractors comparators and the logic devices it is a combinational circuit that performs the addition of three bits hello students welcome to the next session of uh, digital electronics i am dr soumyashree from department of computer science vidyashram first grade college welcome to the session i am uh, starting this session with uh, the third unit's first concept the third unit is all about getting into the circuit diagrams or circuits using the different logic gates that we have uh, discussed in the last unit okay that is the second unit logic gates include the and or not nand nor xor and x nor that is exclusive or and exclusive nor gates okay in this unit we'll know by using how to using these basic and universal gates how we can design the circuits and different uh, uh, gates combination of gates in the digital devices let's start this session the session is all about the combinational circuits circuit means the connection of gates and the wires is called as the circuit is a combination different combination of different gates through wires wired connection between the gate with some input and some output is called as the circuit in circuit we have two categories that is the combinational circuit and the sequential circuit okay so the difference between combinational and sequential is combination circuit is independent it doesn't depends on the previous result whereas sequential circuit is sequential in nature that means if you have two sequential circuits the next sequential circuit depends on the result of the previous sequential circuit in sequential circuit we use a memory cell to keep track of the result of previous circuit whereas combinational circuits are independent it doesn't depend on any other circuits to give the output from the inputs so this is the difference between the combinational circuit and the sequential circuit with this little knowledge will uh, move forward with the combinational circuits okay the combinational circuit or combinational logic circuit is a form of circuit in which the present state of the combination with present input or present state of the combination it uh, does not depend on the previous and the inputs of the current circuit or current state will be used or the present state of the combination of the logic input is going to decide the output it doesn't depend on the output of any other circuits only the present input of the combinational circuit is important to get an output for the combinational circuits all right the term combinational logic means combining of two or more logic gates combinational circuits are the basic circuits that are used in any digital device all right the combinational logic means combining more than one logic gates to form a required function we know about the functional expression isn't it f equals x dash y dash z dash plus x y z dash like this isn't it so we have the log combination of logic gates from a required function where the output at a given time or the current time depends only on the current input not on the 
previous output okay the required output data we can obtain from the process of transforming the binary input we use the binary information or binary input which is given to the circuit will be produced with the output okay here we have the diagrammatic representation of a combinational logic circuit where we use gates we are using one or gate and one and gate and this is another one using an and gate and not gate this is a example this is not exactly the example or circuit we are going to discuss but this is an example combinational circuit you can view all right so how do you represent this uh, combinational circuit is so this is considered as the entire combinational circuit with different gates combination of different gates where you get n number of input variables it may be n number there is no limit that you need to have only two inputs three inputs or four inputs you can have n number of inputs to a combinational circuit whereas combinational circuit also can have multiple logic gates there is no limit that it has to use only and gates only or gates or only not gates or only nand and nor gates it can be combination of any type of logic gate all right with the combinational circuit when input gets into the combinational circuit the combinational circuit is going to process the given input and produces m number of outputs okay the n and m why we are using different variables is number of output variables doesn't doesn't depend on the number of input variables okay so number of output variables and input variables may be different in the combinational circuit it depends on how many logic gates you have used number of output depends on how many logic gates you have used and how many outputs these logic gates are producing in final this is a circuit diagram or symbolic diagram of the combinational circuit next is to know about the classification of the combinational circuit there are so many types of combinational circuits that are used in one or the other way in the digital processors or in the integrated circuits you know about the integrated circuit or ic isn't it integrated circuits circuits are combined which is called as the integrated circuit isn't it so here we have the combinational logic circuit which can be divided into arithmetic and logic functions performing the arithmetic and logic operations then data transmission passing the data through the circuits and third category is code converter conversion of from one code to another is done so we have to in total three types of combinational circuits one circuit one combinational circuit performing the arithmetic and logic operation another circuit performing the data transmission and the third one performing the code conversion in arithmetic and logic operations we have the circuits like adders subtractors comparators and the logic devices that is physical logic devices then we have in data transmission or for data transmission we make use of the multiplexers demultiplexers encoders and decoders okay then for code conversion we have the circuits binary to bcd bcd to binary code conversion bcd conversion to other forms and seven segment display coder okay we have these three types of combinational circuits in code converter for our concept we are going to study about the adders subtractors and multiplexers demultiplexers encoders and decoders okay let's uh, start this uh, study of the various combinational circuits before studying about the combinational circuits let's check the characteristics of the co combinational circuit okay 
the output of a combinational circuit at any instance depends only on the levels present at input terminals. How many gates we are using? Based on that, the output can be produced. You can calculate the output based on how many gates you are using and how many inputs these gates are getting. Based on that, you can calculate the output in a combinational circuit. Okay. The combinational circuit in addition does not use any memory cell. That means the input is de depends only on exclusively on the current input only, not the previous output. Okay. The previous state of input does not have any effect. It doesn't have any effect on the present state of the circuit. It doesn't depend on the present state of the circuit. It depends only on the input at current instance of time. Alright. The combinational circuit can have n number of inputs. It can have n number of inputs and m number of outputs or m number of inputs and n number of outputs. What is the meaning of that is? They are neither proportional nor inversely proportional. They are not related at all. You may have any number of inputs and you may get some other number of outputs. So there is no relationship between how much input we get, only that much output we have to get like that. The number of outputs and inputs may differ in each of the combinational circuits. All right. Let's start with our first combinational circuit that is about the adder. Okay. So we have the adder. Adder is a combinational circuit. What does the adder will do is, as the name itself indicates, adder means to add, to perform the addition operation. What it is going to add is the number, combination of zeros and ones, isn't it? As we know, digital circuits deal with only one and zero, isn't it? The combination of one and zero will be provided to perform the addition operation. In addition operation, we have two combinational circuits. One is the half adder, another one is the full adder. What is the difference between half adder and full adder? How do they differ from each other? Let's check now. Okay, the first thing we are going to study here is the half adder, not the full adder. We are going to know about the half adder. What is a half adder? What are the number of inputs? What are the number of outputs? How do we add the numbers? Let's check now. Half adder is a combinational circuit with two inputs and two outputs. There will be two inputs and two outputs in case of half adder. That means it is not complete adder. It is going to perform half addition operation, not the complete addition. Only half addition is done. How does you can make a half addition? Is it possible to make the half number of addition? Yes, that is the question we are going to answer in this session. So how does half adder differs and how can you do half addition? That is, now let's see, the half adder circuit is designed to add two single bit binary number or single bit binary inputs recognized as A and B. We are going to recognize the two inputs as A and B or you can take it as Q and Q dash or you can take it as X and Y, any variable name you can use, but I'm using it as A and B, okay. It is the basic building block for addition of two single bit numbers. If you are having single bit numbers, so you can use the half adder to perform the single bit addition, okay, for this. The circuit has two outputs. We have two inputs A and B and two outputs sum and carry. Sum and carry we are using, okay, in the half adder. In this, 
let's check with the block diagrams circuit diagrams and truth table of the half adder let's uh, check first the block diagram of the half adder here we have half adder where we use two inputs a and b we are using two inputs a and b and two outputs one output is sum of these two input bit two input bit addition of two input bit result will be given in sum recognized as s whereas another output is carry recognized as c you will be having carry isn't it to the next step that will be given here in the carry now let's check the truth table now truth table is input we are getting is a and b when you have two variables you will get the combination of 2 to the power of 2 that is four combinations isn't it so 2 to the power of 2 four combinations you will get 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 now we have to calculate the function for the sum and the carry now i represent the sum and the carry in the form of sum of the product that is sop okay in the form of sop i'll represent the sum and the carry function sum will be calculated for only those input whose output is 1 so we have 0 1 and 1 0 is the input combination which has the sum output as 1 1 isn't it so sum can be calculated as a 0 a in the complement form that is a dash and we have b isn't it then we have a b in the complement form that is b dash how do you represent sum is a dash b plus ab dash isn't it so a dash b plus ab dash where two values are carrying high input isn't it that is high output when you take the carry which is the output which is the input the, that has one as the output is the one and one combination now we get a into b it is equal to c that is carry has the input a into b sum has the input a dash b plus a b dash you can use this so the a dash b plus a b dash can be considered as a x or b isn't it you can represent the value as a x or b isn't it so this cannot be further simplified you can simplify this some expression as s equals a dash b plus a b dash which can be simplified as having only here we have we need how many inputs two inputs okay so how you can represent a so you can represent this is the final circuit diagram if you take this expression only you can express like this we have two inputs a and b okay this is recognized as a and this is recognized as b now a dash into b what we have to take how do you get the a dash is when you put a not gate to the a then we get a dash so this produces a dash if you give another not gate to the b it will give you b dash what is the first expression a dash into b now how do you construct the gates the first expression is a dash into b you can take the input as a dash into b you can take like this a dash into b that is the and gate we are using it is a dash into b here we have the combination a dash b then another is a into b dash so we take the b dash here and a here now we have the a and 
B dash from the input, isn't it? Now we can use the AND gate here, which produces A, B dash, A dash, B. Now, which is the gate you have to use here? OR gate for this expression. So this produces the S yes equals A dash B plus A B dash. Okay, this is how you can create a combinational circuit with different gates. How many gates, how many types of gates we are using here? Two NOT gates, two AND gates and one OR gate, isn't it? Total of five gate we needed to create this expression. So this is the output, yes. What about C? C equals A into B. You can take it as A into B. We use the same input A and B which is and it will give you C equals A into B. We take the same values before applying the NOT gate which gives you A and B. This gives you C equals A into B. This is how you can create the circuit. But the thing is, this combination has used five gates, isn't it? Two AND gates, two NOT gates and one OR gate. Can we reduce the number of gates? If you reduce the number of gates in the circuit, you can accommodate more inputs and outputs. Okay, you can increase the capacity of the integrated circuits by involving more number of inputs and more number of outputs. So can you be able to simplify it? The one way we got the method to simplify this is by using the XR. So this expression directly uses or directly can be represented as A XR B. That means you can avoid these total five gates. You can execute this expression or this function with only one use of or use of only one XR gate. Instead of five different gates, you can achieve the same function with only one XR gate. Okay, this is how the actual circuit have been shown here. Now you can observe here, S is equal to A, we are using the XR gate here. A, B, representing XR, that is A, XR, B, which represents A dash B, plus a b dash. You can get it from the logic gates output s equals a x r b or in simple you can represent it as a b giving the yes that is some output. Then we have carry equals a into b that is equal to C, C equals A into B. So simply I'm using the AND gate which gives you C equals A into B. S equals A XR B or A dash B plus A B dash. Okay, we are using the same expression with only one XR gate, all right. So this is the half adder that we use, we'll carry, all right. Now let's move on to the full adder. What is a full adder? It is a combinational circuit that performs the addition of three bits. Instead of two bits, we are using the combination of three bits, which is called as the full adder, okay. The block diagram and truth table of the full adder is given here. We have the full adder A and B. We are taking carry in. 
Why it is carrying? Suppose if you are using three inputs, say 110101, or you are taking three inputs. If you have this, you will have 0 plus 1 equals 1, 1 plus 0 equals 1, 1 plus 1 equals 0, 1. You can perform the addition using the half adder. Okay, you will give 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Suppose if you have this combination 1, 1, 1 plus 1, 1, 0. So what is the output? 1 plus 0 is 1. 1 plus 1 is 0. 1 will be carry. 1 plus 1 plus 1. You don't have the way to input this 1 in the half adder because it accepts only 2 inputs. In this case, we are having only 2 inputs. 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1. You can perform this with the half adder. But if it is 3 inputs like this, 1, 1, 0, again we have another carry from the previous addition. From where do you add this? You can't, if you leave this one, it will give you wrong answer. So it you must be there, there must be a way to add this extra carry. How do you add this extra carry is, we can use the full adder instead of half adder to get three inputs to the adder or the combinational circuit. We have this full adder, A and B and a carry in. Now you can have these values, 1, 1, carry from the previous addition will be inserted or will, will be inputted in the carry in input. Okay, And you get the output sum and the carry out or simply you can write it as C and yes. Now we have the combination A, B, carry in. We will get 2 to the power of 3 that is 8 combination of 0 and 1, all possible 8 possible combinations of 0 and 1 like 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1. Okay, the output is, yes is 0 when all are 0, where s is 1 when any one of the input is 1, only one input is 1. 2 input becomes 1, this will become 1 plus 1, it is 0. 1 will be becoming C out, that is carry for the next operation. Okay, again 1, 0, 0 gives you some 1. 1, 0, 1 gives you some 0 and carry is 1. Again 1, 1, 0, again sum is 0, 1 plus 1, 1, 0, 0 is the sum, 1 is the carry. When all the 3's are 1, 1, 1, 1 gives you decimal 3. What is the binary equivalent of 3? It is 1, 1, isn't it? So we will have sum of 1 and carry is also 1. So we have sum as 1 and carry as 1. Okay, here we have the carry out. When both inputs are even, number of 1's is even, then the carry becomes 1. Alright, you can observe here. When it becomes all 3, both the sum and the carry will become 1. Alright. Now how do you get the function here? You can draw the function like this. S equals, get all the output, uh, get the inputs whose output is 1. It is A dash, B dash, C in plus A dash, B, C in dash plus A, B dash, C in dash and A, B, C in. Is there any way to simplify it? Can we simplify this? If you take the K map, So we get A, B, C in. So we have 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 
वन जीरो जीरो वन सो फर्स्ट वन इज जीरो जीरो वन इट इज जीरो जीरो वन देन वी हैव जीरो वन जीरो देन वी हैव वन जीरो जीरो देन वन 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 इन एनी वे कैन वी सिंप्लीफाई दिस एक्सप्रेशन सो के मैप से इज दैट यू कॉन्ट सिंप्लीफाई द एक्सप्रेशन सो वी लीव द सम एज इट इज ओके लेट्स चेक विद द कैरी कैरी हैज द एक्सप्रेशन ए डैश इन टू बी इन टू सी इन ए डैश इन टू बी इन टू सी इन प्लस ए बी डैश सी इन ए इन टू बी डैश इन टू सी इन इज एंट इट देन ए बी डैश सी इन इज ओवर ए बी सी इन डैश ए बी सी इन डैश प्लस ए बी सी इन कैन वी सिंप्लीफाई दिस लेट्स चेक विद द के मैथ सो वी हैव ए बी सी इन सो वी हैव जीरो 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 वन 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 जीरो ना वी हैव जीरो वन सो फर्स्ट इज जीरो वन 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 जीरो वन वन हियर इट इज देन वी हैव वन जीरो वन वन जीरो वन 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 जीरो एंड वन 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 वी कैन ग्रुप दिस एंड एंड this so we can make three groups from these ones what is the simplified expression in this so you get the simplified expression from the first group we have 0 1 cancelled we get b into c in plus in this group b gets cancelled a into c in here we get b cancelled 0 1 cancelled c in remaining and a is remaining a into c in plus when you check this the c in will be cancelled remaining with the b a into b so we get a into b a into c in b into c in okay let's uh, check the let's check the circuit diagram in this so what we get for s yes is from the previous expression s yes is a dash b dash c in we can take this as this is the diagrammatic representation of full ladder for this function if you simplify this function this will become a xr b xr c in you can make the xr combination of this now we have a xr b xr c in producing the sum whereas carry will be a into b plus a into c in plus b into c in so this is the full adder expression with the three input okay so this is about the full adder and the half adder in the next session i'm going to explain about half subtractor and full subtractor and some more combinational circuits thank you